So I want to give a little review of Harrah's. We're staying in the um, South Tower. We've never stayed in this tower before, so I thought I'd give you a little look at the room. These are all upgraded. So these are the the fancier rooms. We've been here a couple days, so we have like our stuff out, but um, I have a shower. The only thing that's kind of draggy about the shower is all the water um, leaves on the floor because that's about as um, wide as the the shower uh, door. Got a little closet here. Nothing exciting. Um, we have a king size bed. Got a fancy headboard. Fancy wallpaper. You do get a bigger TV here. Um, there is a refrigerator down here. You get a little vanity with a makeup mirror, which is kind of nice. I used that um, the other day. You get this little chaise or couch. I'm not even quite sure. A little table and chairs. And then um, you do have a view of the parking lot. And over here, right there, is the view of the river. But uh, here's the room. These are definitely a lot nicer than um, the North Tower or the Central Tower. But I just want to give you a little overview of the room. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. So I wanted to give you this tour because it's different than the last one which is different than the one before that. So anyway, you walk in to this little hallway situation. We just got in here. To the right is the bathroom. This is standard here. There's nothing exciting going on. Another full length mirror. We have the closet, which is the same as last time. We got another king size bed but this room we have two windows dale is standing by the one that overlooks the river and the other one is the same view from the last time <laughs> this is what's funny it's like a, a 23 inch tv what size do you think this is 27 inch it's tiny right it's like a computer monitor but we have a dresser but it comes with a fridge but um i'm gonna enjoy working here. I'm going to do a little work today probably. So at least I have a, a nice view while I work. There's lots of room for acrobats over here. Good view of where my hat flew off too. Oh, yeah, that's true. And then here's this view of the river, which you guys haven't seen yet. This is real nice. So it's a good view of the river. Dirty windows again, but anywho. And then, say hi, Tugger Dog. I'm gonna have to excuse my voice because I've been sick, but um, Harris does have a uh, <laughs> little room here that's just like all um, video poker and um, kino machines. They're 25 cents and a quarter in this little area, but it's like one little room. It's a little um, smoky in here though, like the ventilation's pretty bad, so you gotta have um, tough lungs to hang out in this room. So we just kind of breeze through it, but. They do have it if you're interested in, you know, that. They have a great pool. Here's a view of the pool. It's packed. People are swimming, having a good time. And then if you go around the corner from the super smoky room, you have the non-smoking section, which has, you know, obviously slot machines and um, kino and poker machines. They do have an arcade for the kids. This is downstairs by the North Tower. It's a pretty decent little... Uh, Arcade. I guess it's not really little, it's big, but they do have this so you can keep the kids or the big kids entertained. 
You do you. And then this little hallway from the North Tower into the main casino. There's a Cinnabon, this red mango, which is like yogurt, smoothies, and juice, like healthy. Pinup Pizza, which is only open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights, which is kind of unfortunate, but they have these giant slices for 10 bucks. And then beyond the pizza place is a Smash Burger, and that is open from, I think, 11 a.m. until... 6 a.m. and then it's closed from 6 to 11 it's some kind of crazy but anyway it's open like overnight basically this is one of two gift shops this is between the north tower and the south tower and it's only open sometimes too it's not all the time I think only on the weekends or when it's busy and then this is um, walking in again from the north tower into the non-smoking um, gaming section to the left there's the range bar and then there's the range steakhouse on the left and that's like their fancy um, you know, fine dining restaurant yeah Harris is big they're uh, they got a big probably the biggest I mean maybe next to the Riverside the Riverside is pretty big too but um, I think Harris they got a big um, gaming floor there is a Starbucks. This is right across from um, the check-in registration area. Come on. And this is back into the main um, gaming area. The doors, the entrance doors are to the right. Here's a view of the beach kind of from the windows upstairs. Here's the main entrance into Harrah's. Nothing, you know, overly spectacular, but anyway, there's um, Guy Fieri's um, El Burro Baracho. I think that's only, it's closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, I think is the deal with that one, but it's open. And then there's the Beach Cafe. Um, this is where we ate on this particular night. We've eaten here before. We had a bad experience with some rotten ketchup one time. Swore we'd never go again, but anyway, here we are. The food was fine. We didn't get sick. All was well. And then back into the main um, casino dirty. floor, going out towards the the pool and the beach. Now they're known, they're I think it's the Harris Beach Resort, but they do have like the best beach, or they say it's the best beach. Um. So yeah, it's right on the river. Weather's nice. They have this little outside area if they suit you to sit out there. You can go ahead and do that, but here's a, a look down um, at the beach from that little patio area. It's a little windy. It's always kind of a little windy. Sometimes it's like super windy, but that's just uh, how the weather goes in Bullhead. So they have a salon, a spa, the adult pool, um, mm -hmm. fitness center, all the things lockers which is cool so if you want to put your stuff in there when you're going to the pool or to the um, beach it's pretty awesome a nice little fountain and they have a ramp down to um, the pool would be on at the end of the ramp here you can go um, <coughs> left at the end to the pool and then to the right, um, to the beach. I really apologize for my voice and my uh, stuffiness, but I wanted to get this video out. So I've been sick for a while. I don't seem like I'm getting much better. So I thought, well, I better do it regardless. Here's a little view of the beach. They have like the little palapas and the little shade. I'm not sure. I think it's first come, first serve, actually. On that one. So we're back into the main casino. I do have one beef as far as um, Harris goes with um like the beverages you have to be diamond plus or diamond i think just diamond which we're diamond but you have to be diamond if you want like um a superior type drink like dale had ordered a crown and coke at one point and they um refused to give it to him she's like we well, have to pay max bet and you have to be diamond and he's like well i am max betting and diamond so, you know, that's kind of stingy when you can go to any of the other casinos and just order whatever the heck you want. You can be playing pennies if you want, and they do not care. So I don't know why Harris has to be so stingy like that. Like, like that's stupid. You're spending money, so I don't know. 
it's dumb that really did piss us off but um so yeah we'll order um maybe a coffee every once in a while maybe but there's a starbucks so but they do have a high limit um room which is pretty nice a poker room it's pretty empty well completely empty on this day but it's usually hopping they have a big sports book and a kino section back Mm -hmm. here they do have all their table games um open and ready to go some of the um casinos they only have a couple um table games or like the pioneer none at all so that's kind of super if you're into table games there's some more kino machines over here um but yeah tv's everywhere it definitely doesn't um you know feel too claustrophobic considering how big it is you know sometimes it's like you're packed yeah, next to one another and i think the way they have the machines laid out not in uh rows yeah really helps out with the uh um, congested type feel of the other places you have your players um desk be sure to get yourself a card they do um tier match with windham so if you have a higher status at windham that was a um, complete you can bus. match that you know? at um, harris <coughs> excuse me my goodness your typical uh ticket exchange machines but yeah i wanted to try to give you like you know the full tour we like it here uh, we've gotten plenty of complimentary rooms we also get rooms for uh, 20 dollars a night for being like a a diamond member so there's that the more you play the more you stay the more you get you know all that jazz but yeah that's the inside of harris let's explore the outside So not only does Laughlin have several casinos, they also have a dispensary, if that's your jam. There's also this Laughlin Outlet Center, so the Laughlin Mall, they call it. So we're going to go in there and wander around. There are movies here, and then the Riverside um, down the street also has movies. There's a Dollar General, so if you forget something, we've we've done that before. I've forgotten. Even even Tucker's leash, we've forgotten. Had to uh, run over here and get it. So there's a Dollar General. That Queen Nail is pretty great for a pedicure. Been there several times. Um, but anyway, we'll head into the mall. I have it. But anywho, um, they do have covered parking. So when it's you know nine million degrees, so you can't even see me outside at least there's some shade and there are some restaurants so i'll kind of show you that a little bit and then um some of the stores but yeah there were actually more restaurants here last time i came i guess apparently there's only one left so it's not much of a mall but you get one option Apparently the escalators are broken. I think those were broken last time I was here. There is an elevator, but whatevs. It's almost like it's like, you know, (laughs) I don't know, a ghost town, but there is something else to do. And when it's hot outside, but you do have the Carter's outlet. I mean, there are things here. But like legit, doesn't it seem like I'm the only one in here? <laughs> like, should we not be in here? But there's some lights on, so I think we're okay, but. Like, 
there is a boys and girls thrift store in here, which is kind of different that there's a thrift store inside the mall, but you know, that's kind of cool, like a thrift store. Dale and I have been in there before and it was pretty cool, but not today. Of course, if you get tired of gambling and shopping, you can run across the river to Bullhead and hang out on the beach. This is like the little community park. It's pretty awesome. Please just give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I will see you on the next one.